Strategically located in the heart of Southeast Asia and on the Strait of Malacca, one of the world's most important shipping lanes, Malaysia, is an attractive market for many American businesses. Malaysia has transformed its economy from a producer of raw materials into a multi-sector economy with annual growth rates over 4%. Malaysia is an attractive export market as it has a largely English-speaking population the ability to repatriate capital and profits, a well-established legal framework, solid infrastructure, and an affinity for American-made goods. Moreover, e-commerce is booming, with 50% of Malaysians now making purchases online, and 47% of mobile phone users buying things with their devices. Generally, the best market entry strategy is to work with a local distributor or representative. Also, Government-linked corporations play a big role in the economy, and selling to them usually requires partnering with a Bumaputra ethnic Malay-owned company. The U.S. Commercial Service has experts at its office in the capital of Kuala Lumpur to help match American businesses with qualified local distributors and partners. The Malaysian market could be a very profitable one for your business if you do your homework. So why should U.S. companies export to Malaysia? Importing and exporting aircraft can be confusing as a host of government agencies may become involved including foreign civil aviation authorities CAAM, US and Foreign Customs and the US Federal Aviation Administration FAA. In order to export or import, there are contract of sales, contract of carriage, contract of insurance and also contract of payment. We will start off with contract of sales. Back between Boeing and Mars is not governed by CISG, even though both countries fulfill the first requirement of CISG, which their place of business is in two different countries. But Malaysia doesn't fulfill the second requirement because Malaysia is not one of the contracting states. The first step is Mars Acceptance of US Federal Aviation Administration, FAA. FAA is FAA will define new technical standard orders TSO appliances which is a minimum performance standard used to evaluate an article. Receiving a TSO authorization is both design and production approval. An article can be a material, 
part, component, process, or appliance used on aircraft. Prior to export from the United States, an aircraft that has been type certificated in the United States must have an export certificate of airworthiness ECA. of airworthiness. Type design approval for a product is a prerequisite for After Mars has accepted the FAA and Boeing has also accepted the CAAM Certificate of Airworthiness, then MAS will need to accept the FAA findings for environmental testing. MAS acceptance of AAA findings for the following environmental requirements including Boeing and Mars will then enter into a contract of carriage. The Carriage by Air Act 1974 applies the Warsaw Convention 1929 and the latter being the Montreal Convention 1999. There are many options available for transporting your aircraft from the United States. Once Mars has accepted the FAA findings for environmental testings, now, the decision to fly the aircraft yourself or have the aircraft delivered by the owner or ferry company will be based in part on specific pilot licensing requirements. A review of international pilot licensing requirements and limitation is provided below. However, if the buyer of aircraft wish to fly the aircraft under US registration for the purpose of transporting the aircraft to the destination country, they may choose to get a validated foreign pilot certificate. The next process is to clear US customs. Clearing U.S. Customs is a major hurdle in getting the aircraft to your destinations. Pilots are required to submit to a customs inspection prior to exporting an aircraft from the United States. The, the goal of U.S. Customs is to verify that no illegal items are being exported, all documents and paperwork are in order, and that tax or duty are collected. During the U.S. Customs, the approved pilot will have the authority to fly the aircraft to Malaysia. Contract of Payment Boeing and Mars will use letter of credit as their payment mechanism. This method can secure Boeing to get the payment from Mars as a large amount of money will be involved. A Boeing aircraft costs approximately $113 million U.S. dollar. Upon reaching the destination, the aircraft and pilot will need to go through Malaysian customs. Aircraft being imported to another country may be subject to a custom inspection and duty tax by the destination country. This cost should be entered into the equation. Once it is cleared, they can finally complete the sales transaction. Mars will need to inform Boeing once the aircraft has landed in Malaysia so that Boeing can deregister the aircraft with the FAA and remove the end numbers. 
Before Mars can register an aircraft that has previously been registered in the United States, it must receive verification from the FAA that the aircraft has been deregistered. To deregister the aircraft, they need to send documents to the aircraft registration branch. Once Boeing has deregistered the aircraft with the FAA, finally, MAS can start the process of registration in the country itself and start operating their business.